What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Leo coming to you guys with yet another video. Coming at you guys today with some horror content. So, uh, this is a quiz, actually. Uh, it says the title of the quiz Would You Survive a Scream Movie? If you guys do not know, Scream is literally one of my favorite horror franchises as of right now. So, I, I just figured, like, I want to see if I was to be in a horror movie, or especially a Scream movie, would I be on the chopping block, or would I surprisingly survive a scare movie? So let's see um, if I actually survived a scare movie. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link down in my in the comment section or below in the description if you guys wanna go take this quiz for yourself. Also, I'm gonna um, go um, show support to my Cash App if anything helps because uh, we have this trip going to WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia. So anything helps uh, going towards that trip and also my apartment with me and my friends for next year so anything helps i appreciate it uh so let's get into it with this quiz um so first they asked me to enter my name we're gonna go and do that and we'll get started i just put leo in there okay so the first question there's 15 questions which of these people would you be the closest to within the scenario so I'm gonna kind of break down a little bit. So Sydney, she's more of like the main character pretty much, but it seems like anybody who's kind of with her seems to get on the chopping block, I guess. Um, Dewey, he, you know, he, he has, he always has a weapon, but it, he still ends up getting stabbed for whatever reason. Uh, Derek, um, I don't know how to feel about him. Honestly, I mean, he was pretty much a more of a red herring than Scream 2. Mickey Altieri, the killer, I don't know how to feel about that. Jennifer Jolie from Scream 3, the one that played uh, Gail, was playing Gail in the movie. She got killed, and Kirby, she's more of the nerdy type, which I am a nerdy type as well, but she also got stabbed, and so, I don't know. Um, I'm going to just go with Dewey, I guess, because he is one of my favorite characters out of Scream. Um, so let's go to question two. One night you are left alone, do you have all the doors in your house locked from the start? Yes, no, yes, and the windows. Me personally, if I'm in a skiller, I'm having my doors locked. I'm having three locks on my door, and I'm having my windows locked. So question three, as you're home alone, you get a phone call, you end up answering it, but what's your first thought before you pick it up? You think you'll know who it is. You rarely get phone calls from people you don't know. That's why you pick it up. It's probably someone trying to sell you something. You'll pick it up. See, you will you should ignore it, but something in you says pick it up. It might be important. You'll pick it up and see. Me personally, if I don't know who it is, I'm not answering. So I guess this is the closest to it. You should ignore it because I will ignore it. Question for a deep voice that you don't recognize comes from the other line. They say hello and ask you who... Who they're talking to what do you do tell your name and cautiously before asking theirs ask them who they are and why they're calling before before you might answer their question tell them confidently and play along with with what they want to talk about just hang it up i'm just gonna hang it up i'm not gonna entertain anybody if, especially if it's an unknown person and i don't know who it is so i'm going to just hang it up your closest friend, your significant other, has begun acting sort of suspicious and strange. How do you act? Just brush it off. You're probably just you're just seeing things. They aren't there anyway. Don't question it because you're too concerned. You think it'll pass. Ask them about it directly. Why they are being like this? Tell someone you're closest to. Um, here's my thing. If I was in a skin movie, I'm pretty much gonna ask them myself. I don't, because think about it, if you was to tell somebody closer to you, you don't know if that person is going to be the killer or not. That's the thing you have to worry about. They might be the killer. So you don't want to just go up to anybody or like your friends, because nine times out of ten, they might be the killer. So me personally, I'm just going to ask them about it directly. Are you a fan of Gail Weathers and her work? Yes, yeah, she's great. No, she's rude and promises off a scene strategy. You don't really have an opinion on her. You would honestly consider yourself her biggest fan. Um, I feel like she's a good character. She's literally a good character. I feel like she had one of the better characters in the Scream 1, honestly. Someone is throwing a party at their house one night, but a curfew has been set for the town, and the party will be going after curfew. Do you go? Yes, who cares about the curfew? You'll be safe. No one, uh, no. Why would you break curfew? Yes, you'll go, but you'll take a friend or two. 
You're actually the one throwing the party. Um, I don't know how to feel about this one either. Because I would say, I'll just say I'm the one throwing the party. Just spice this uh, quiz up a little bit. If you were to go to a party, how would you be getting home? You had someone you're close to it to take you. You walk home, you'll be staying over. Uh, who th you'll be staying over at whoever's person stay at the party. You'll ask a friend who brought their car. You'll you don't go anywhere. It's your party. That's similar part two to like last one. So I'm gonna just put uh, you don't go anywhere. Okay, people are starting to clear out the party. They're going to put on a movie. People staying for the people staying. Do you have any judgments of? Okay, so they have Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth. Final Destination, American Psycho, The Evil Dead, something that isn't a horror movie, a thriller horror, but none of these, you're not going to suggest anything. Honestly, I would say American Psycho, I mean, I love Halloween, but uh, something about American Psycho that I like, honestly, be honest, do you follow the rules for how to survive some, or a movie? Uh, I mean, you break the rules, but generally you follow the rules, because I'm pretty much, if I was in a horror movie, right, I'll pretty much be the nerdy person, so it's like, I know what to expect, but sometimes I don't heed my own warnings, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, question 11. Every Everyone has left, and the killer has begun chasing you. Sydney, Gail, Sydney, Dewey, and Gail. Everyone is starting to run up. Do you go with anyone? You go with Sydney, you trust her, you think she'll be able to handle the situation. You go with Dewey, because, well, I mean, you'll, or you'll I'll just finish, right, finish it. You go with Dewey, hope, hope he'll be able to react quick enough if the killer pops out he most likely has a weapon with him that could be helpful true you go with gail you think she'd be able to outrun the killer take down temporarily down the killer you go on your own you advise that everyone sticks together and pairs up um i think the best rule to survive if don't split up so that's why i'm gonna say you advise everyone sticks together because i think if you don't you're in probably 9 times out of 10, you're going to be in the chopping block. If the killer had you cornered, but you began trying to explain their big plan to you, would you let them? You would listen to what they're saying. You want to hear and need to know. You would let them speak, but you would also try to take them all down almost right away. You would, you would pretend you're listening while secretly searching for it. A uh, way out. You start running and hope to get away. I'm not going to run away. I would probably take, take them down instantly. When you watch the screen films, did you already know, already figure out who the killer were uh, before they were revealed? Were the killers obvious to you? Um, honestly, I felt like they were all obvious. You knew all of them. They felt obvious. Do you honestly think you survive a screen movie? Yes, no, you have no idea, but hope so. You have no idea, but if you don't make it, you hope to go out in a cool way. Honestly, I feel like if I was to get killed off in a horror movie, I would want to go out in a heroic type of way if I'm saving somebody or hoping somebody pretty much um any anything you want to say any thoughts uh no so I think this is the end of the quiz so let's see what the results were. did I survive or did I get put on the chopping block you survived okay congratulations you managed to live all the way through the massacre the weather it be because of your skills smart thinking fate or just dumb luck. You may have lost some people along the way, but you made it out alive. Just hope this won't happen again anytime soon. Agreed. <laughs> but uh, I was surprised. I didn't think I would, based off the answers, I didn't think I would probably survive. I probably would have been on the chopping block. But that's a surprising um, outcome, in my opinion. But that is the end of this video. You guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, hit the post notification bell. So every time I post a new video, we're on the road to 450 subscribers. Uh, two likes on this video. I'll do more videos just like this one. Um, just like I said earlier in the video, this um, the link to this um, quiz will be in the description and also my cash up. So go support my cash up to help me out with this WrestleMania trip that's coming up very soon. And also the apartment coming up next year. Uh, anything helps, you guys. I don't. You don't have to give me a big amount unless you're, um, unless you feel like you're, you want to. If you want to, that's fine. But you don't have to send a lot. Anything helps at this point. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys had a, enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one.